So the South Asian Heart Center is the first nonprofit response to the epidemic of heart disease in the South Asian community. South Asians are at four times the risk for heart disease. Uh, they are twice as likely to die of a heart attack, three times as likely to have a secondary heart attack after having the first one. And 60% um, uh, of the world's heart disease burden is borne by Indians of South Asian descent, which is less than 17% of the population. So there's a health disparity out there, and the South Asian Heart Center aims to reduce this high incidence of heart disease in the community. The mission of the South Asian Heart Center is to create public awareness through education, um, screen individuals for their risks through advanced screening, and then facilitate um, changes in lifestyle through heart health coaching. Uh, for the last 10 years, um, we were seeing young South Asian engineers present into the El Camino emergency room with heart attacks. Uh, we were seeing individuals in their um, mid-40s uh, with um, a spouse and two children in the waiting room having an acute myocardial infarction, and they did not have the classic uh, risk factors that we learn in medical school that could explain the increased risk of cardiovascular disease. And that prompted uh, myself and other physicians at El Camino Hospital to look into it further, and that led to the creation of the South Asian Heart Center. What we have found uh, uh, is that there are factors that are not commonly um, evaluated in physicians' offices that explain the increased risk or partially explain the increased risk of cardiovascular disease in this population. There are other things that attribute to the risk. There is a higher incidence of diabetes. There is, um, you know, a higher incidence of the total cholesterol to HDL ratio within this population as well. Um, and those are the traditional risk factors. There is a shortage of protective risk factors. This population is more sedentary. This population, while being vegetarian, is not eating fruits and vegetables. It's a grain-based diet versus a fruits and vegetable-based diet. And finally, there are a set of emerging risk factors that may be genetically deter determined that are present in this population and show up um, abnormally in this population. So we feel that those are kind of the three areas um, why there is a higher incidence of heart disease in this population. The issue about genetics is really important. And um, the South Asian Heart Center has been uh, doing some um, uh, tests that have a genetic basis. Uh, lipoprotein little a uh, is an autosomal dominant uh, uh, factor that uh, tends to be elevated in northern Europeans who have the highest incidence of coronary artery disease in Europe and also is uh, very high among South Asians, individuals of the sub, uh, Indian uh, continent. And that lipoprotein little a is not routinely measured in many physicians' offices. And uh, it can actually, if, not, if it goes unmeasured, untreated, and if associated with other risk factors such as a low HDL cholesterol, uh, factors such as diabetes, tobacco, hypertension, can significantly increase your risk of heart attack by about 120 times. Not 120 percent, but 120 times. So we have identified that genetic factor, and there are other factors that we're looking at right now. We encourage them to get um, these advanced tests done, which will perhaps give them a better prediction of their risk. And we do that at the center by not only testing for lipids, which is the traditional test that you might get at the physician's office, but looking at your glucose and insulin abnormalities, looking at LP little a, or what we call the deadly cholesterol, and looking at some of the subtypes of LDL and HDL. Those are that attribute to a greater uh, affinity to creating plaque or for removing plaque or, you know, helping um, restore um, the balance. And then we work on exercise, diet and stress management at the center with the individuals. We provide nutrition counseling, which is South Asian, so very culturally sensitive. Um, you know, people are eating South Asian diets at home, and many of the nutritionists that are out there or associated with physicians' offices may not have that background, may not know what to change in your diet appropriately, may not understand the amount of carbohydrates that may actually exist in the diet uh, that are leading to, you know, visceral fat or central obesity. 
so I was completely surprised um, uh, when I had my heart attack, and I was 44. Um, now, I should have known, um, you know, my father had, uh, fa had heart attacks before, uh, but it never was real to me, and, you know, until I had my heart attack. And um, I had to kind of change my lifestyle. And what I found was that it isn't a um, solution, you know, um, one thing fits all kind of a solution. First of all, I, through, the, through, that, through having my heart attack, found out what I should be testing for. Uh, and why it is important as a South Asian to test for these additional things. The second thing was, you know, coming up with a lifestyle program. Uh, an exercise, other than the fact that it's hard to kind of sustain and kind of keep it on, you at least know that, you know, you can get onto an exercise program. You can do three days of exercise per week or five days. And I found out that for myself, I'd have to do it seven days a week, um, you know, one hour of some sort of vigorous activity. Uh, but the key difference uh, to my numbers really came from the nutrition aspect. The goals of the South Asian Heart Center is to actually make a South Asian Heart Center in every physician's office. So we have a very uh, big uh, emphasis in educating physicians. We do not uh, compete with physicians for patients. We actually um, encourage participants to return back to their physician um, and to receive their medical care. So what I would say first is know that you are at a higher risk. There are studies after studies that have shown that. Once you believe in that, then the next thing for you to do is to get screened, if you have not already. Talk to your doctor and make it important for them. Make it important that they do these advanced tests beyond the lipid panel and look at you more comprehensively. If they are not doing it, come to us. Get screened here. We'll do it for you. Uh, and then start working on your lifestyle. So the, the first thing is to just get involved. Then get your family and your friends involved with the program. We really feel that women can make a tremendous difference to this epidemic, and they will be the ones that can actually change the course of this epidemic within our generation because they are the family medical officers, typically in a South Asian family. They can not only impact themselves, women are at higher risk too, but they can really impact the three or four family members in their circle. And if each family medical officer started doing this, we can really change the profile of this epidemic going forward.